Okay, so now I want to show how I create my moons. Um, a lot of times, I, I mean, you can use whatever you color you want. Sometimes I make this be a red moon, a blue moon, like a really burnt orange type of moon, but or even a gray moon. And I decided that I like the way this looks already with the white and the yellow. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make it be a yellow moon. So we've got some white, a lighter yellow, and then a darker yellow, and we'll get to painting. So we take the white and we put that in the middle. Just kind of apply it to where it's like a little bit of a circle. Get the, oh, where's my rag? Get your rag, take the excess white off. Then you go for the lighter yellow and circle around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of get it to go around there. Blend them in a little bit there. Get the excess paint off. Then you go to your darker yellow that one take out to the edges and outline it nice and neat and i'm using a brush that um is oh what oh my gosh can't really see but it has more of a flat edge and that works in really works well for getting close to the edge of the sketched in moon and just go all the way around it you can pull in a little bit of the lighter yellow. Keep filling in that darker yellow. And so you can see, you can do this with any um, colors that you want and just kind of like create circles of them going outwards towards the edge of the circle. All right. nice and smooth on the edge there okay let's grab a little more of this lighter yellow put it next to the darker one and maybe some more white too throw some white in there uh, yeah more white even I like the way that it looked before we started. A little more. Okay. And now, get an artist sponge. As you can see, I just, because this is a smaller moon, I've got a piece here, because I rip off pieces, because I don't need, like, they come in, like, big chunks. Um, for instance, I have some here. You can buy, I mean, these are obviously some bigger pieces so I'll take these out and I'll just rip off chunks because I don't want something that big I need something fairly small for this and so we're going to go in here and you just start up and down basically stamping it again and work your way out to the edge and it just blends them and it creates this beautiful glowing technique it's very simple, easy to do, and you can take in a pick up some of that yellow that you picked up and put it on there. And get it all the way up to the edge just so it creates a little bit of a texture as well. And as you can see, some of the gold underneath um, overlay is under there and that kind of adds an extra dimension to it as well. So there you have it. This is how I create my moons.